right, it's starting, y'all. Are you excited? Can I offer you a pillow? Yes. <laughs> why do we Why do we talk like we British? Can I offer you a pillow? Somebody else said that. I don't know where I got that from. I think I got that from you. See, it ain't my fault. I, will. I don't. I don't want to put this behind me because it's a bean bag. Here, you want that one? <clears throat> All right, Michelle. All right. I'm so excited, y'all. All right, so welcome to this podcast. I'm not sure what it's called yet. I was thinking more like Rated K. Do you think that's cute? No. You don't like that? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's very selfish. I'm about to be part of this with you. You about to leave. I was thinking of a name with me and you, but she about to leave, y'all. She about to uh, move up north in October. So she thinks it's selfish. All right, fine. Okay. But Rated K is a little selfish. I didn't say Rated K. I said Rated K. Like rated R, rated K. Okay, well, it could be, it could be, it could be Kai and friend. No, I'm just like, <laughs> all right. So I don't know what this podcast is gonna be called. So Kai gonna, and company. Kai and company. Yeah. So we just gonna, we just gonna, um, we just gonna go. Anyway. Yeah, just go with it. But all right. welcome to my first podcast, everybody. I hope you guys are excited because I'm excited. And I've been trying to get this vision. Actually, you know what? I'm Kai, of course, and we have Lex. Yo, I'm here. Lex. So I wanted to make this a thing where it was just like me and her, and we would like do this once a week, every week, but she's leaving me. But anyway, we ain't going to talk about that no you more. You got three weeks out of me you can use. And then change the name. <laughs> the glass is half full. <laughs> the glass is half empty. Mm-hmm. That's how I'm going to feel that's when you leave. <laughs> but um I've been trying to get this bitch to do a podcast with me forever. Okay. Forever. Forever ever? Forever ever. <laughs> and like it's always every time we try to do it, it's either like I'm like excited to do it and she's like, No, I don't wanna do it or she's wanting to do it and I don't wanna do it. So I'm like, Alright, we gotta come to an agreement. But actually she brought it up. So here we are at two fifty two on a lovely Thursday morning. Yeah, it's two fifty two in the morning. So she she brought it up. I was trying to do a TikTok because you guys like I'm a TikTok sensation these days with my ninety eight followers. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but she was just like, Okay, I don't feel like doing because I was gonna do my hair and makeup and I was she was just like, Well, why don't we just do start the podcast? And I'm like, That's a good idea. So, she, f- she fucked up the pack. I mean, the mic. Um, she fucked up the mic's volume, so we had to get that together. Sometimes I don't know everything, mm. <laughs> but I'll never admit that again. So, you don't know. No, this bitch. She really knows everything, though. I'm just. What did you say earlier? What do I? What do me and Percy be saying? I'm just, bare minimum. <laughs> That's what I do. It's bare minimum. So I do the best I can. So that's why I'm sad that when she leave, like, who's going to help me do stuff? Like, this bitch, she's put my whole room together. Except for my TV stand. I do take pride in my TV stand. But everything else in here, she put. Like, who needs a man when you just, when you got legs, bro? <laughs> who, does, who, who needs a man? I'm Bob the Builder in this bitch. I uh, know. Lex the Builder. <laughs> but yeah, so... What would you like to discuss? I don't know. Do I figured you'd shit? have a topic, bro. I don't. We just literally winging this shit out. Like, I don't have nothing to say. At all. Yeah. <laughs> right. Hi, um, welcome to... Hi, my name's Kai. Welcome to my podcast. I don't have shit to say. But, you know, let's uh roll with the punches. I just thought, like, we talk regular, like how we always do, and we just, like, get some good footage in. Not footage. See, I'm thinking YouTube. Oh, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. The reason why I was, like, so much for the podcast versus your vlog or TikToking, them damn freaking lights on my face that make me look eight times more white than I really am. You need to tan anyway. Y'all, I got, um... Look, if you would have fucking accepted that tannin package I offered you eight months ago... Bro, that's something we can talk about. (laughs) Listen, this bitch, I I think I'm the first black friend. Remind you, I'm black and Lex is white. I'm the first black friend she ever had because when we first started hanging out, 
she was like, um, would you like to, would you say, would you, I said, if I, I want to go tanning, if I bought you a package, would you go with me? And I just, y'all, I looked at her and I was like, I was waiting for her to laugh. And I was just like, <laughs> I thought she was joking. She was like dead ass. Like, and I'm like, why? I didn't know why people don't tan. I don't know. I didn't know white people don't tan because yo, I ain't never seen you tan, bitch. <laughs> so, that's another topic. What the fuck? So, she talking about she gonna buy me a fucking tanning package. This bitch don't even tan at all. Like, she been white the whole fucking summer. And I'm upset. Because hey, I kinda my, tan up north. My, my white girls, they, they take pride in their tans. You know, y'all been slacking this year. I don't know. Quarantine, girl. Quarantine. They got, um... Don't y'all have the tanning lotion? Like, y'all put it on y'all body and y'all get darker or something? Do you know how much work that is? You lazy as hell. All you got is like putting on lotion, <laughs> ain't it? Yeah, but it's even and you gotta fucking do the back and some places just can't reach. And That's, that's why you have a roommate. Just can do your back. Oh, that's fucking gay. No. <laughs> that's gay. <laughs> She didn't mean that for my gay followers that's fucking listening. No, I'm just playing. Disclaimer. But, um, yeah, so I thought she was playing and she was not. And I had to teach her. And I had to sit her down and be like, Lex, black people, I'm sorry to break it to you. <laughs> black people don't tan, girl. I did go tan at one time, y'all. Not Just, with me. I went with Jess. She's a piece of shit. Something happened. I think I lost a bet or something. And she was like, the bet was for me to tan. And I walked in there and it was the most busiest day of America. And it was like, I walk in with my head down. Like, did I ever tell you this story? Mm -hmm. I never told you this story? Yeah, I think I lost the bet and just wanted me to tan. <coughs> and I walk in there because she's evil like that. And it was like so many white people in there. And they looked at me like, oh, hell no. <laughs> like, bitch. So I was like. I talked to the lady and I was like, just give me the lowest time that you have. This is a bet that I lost. And she was cracking up. And I actually went in there and it was very relaxing. It is. It's very relaxing. Will I ever go again? No. Because <coughs> I don't need to. But it was, I was a pretty golden color, I thought. But, so, that's off my bucket list though, I guess. Well, no, that was never on my bucket list. But I can say I went tanning before. <coughs> yeah. That's not a flex, but... You, wait. <laughs> I'm about your ass a spray tan. This... <laughs> no, I, I used to put this shit on my body that made my... It was like... It was kind of like how y'all put the self-tanner on, mm -hmm. but it just evened my body up when I used to do... What did we used to do? Me and Jess, we used to do um, sexy circuses or something. We used to get spray, spray painted. So I used to wear that stuff on I me. Mean, and I'm like, bro, like, taking a shower, like, my shower used to be, like, straight up. Uh, I can't see how y'all do that shit. Hmm. Mm-hmm, girl. Mm-hmm. But, y'all, we drinking, uh, we drinking Jameson right now. Oh, what? We, <laughs> because this bitch, like, got me into, um, On that Tito's. whiskey tip, though. No, the Tito's, man, I can't, like, I'm so, I cannot do Tito's at all no more because I'm just you know how you drink something so much and you just like I can't drink it I can't drink that no more it's so pure and so smooth it is. you don't even realize that it's there and then like <clears throat> just the sticky feeling afterwards is there <laughs> no mm -mm. that Tito's I, I gotta let that go for a little bit. The Jameson, I never thought I would be buying Jameson, but I went over Alexis' house and I was drinking Jameson with you. And I got drunk off, I think I had like three, four shots and I got drunk and I'm like, bro. And I wanted more, but you put it up and I'm like, fuck, you know what? <laughs> Tomorrow I'm gonna get me some Jameson. And then I was just in this bitch by myself, lame as fuck, just fucked up. And I'm like, yeah, I'm about to just... Oh, and I got pickles. Jameson and Pickleback. Oh, like I tried to do to you. I still posted that video, by the way. You posted what video? I brought home those, um, it was, they're sweet pickles, but they were Ugh. soaked in, like, habanero. All right, y'all. So, I kind of got me real good a couple months ago on some fucking 
bullshit pregnancy test prank fucking it was awful and i've been thinking of ways to get her back i know oh, that I she that. don't like jameson that much but i know she's a sucker for a pickleback so we had the jameson out and i had just come home from up north i brought back a jar of pickles that were soaked with habaneros actually they were really fucking good a little spicy but they're good Spicy. And, and she asked for a pickle bag. And I said, I got you. I gave her a pickle bag of the spiciness. And I know she don't like spicy. And I took a video. And you I don't, recorded it? Yeah. You got it? Yeah, I don't know where it is though. But I know I recorded it. Horrible. You should, if if I was you, I would have took, took it and posted it on Facebook. It's awful. I know it's somewhere. But anyways, that was my revenge. Slightly. I thought you could have came better with that. I thought... If I was sober when it happened, I probably would have been a lot more planned that, out. No, that shit, was, <laughs> that shit was nasty as fuck. Like, I was like, what the fuck is... I'm like, bitch. But I still drank it, though. Well, no. After that, I tasted it. You know how when you put something in your mouth, you could taste it before you swallow it? Initially. I tasted it, and I was like... And then I just swallowed it because it was in my mouth, but... Mm. Child, that shit was nasty. She tried to, she tried to poison me, y'all. Um, she tried to poison me. But so let's talk about, let's talk about how we met. Since it might be people on here that don't know shit about us or don't know our story. But I didn't like you. You didn't like me. <laughs> no, I didn't think I was gonna like you. I. It wasn't that I didn't like you. I was just like, who is this bitch? Cause. You know, everybody know that Jess is, like, um, one of my best friends. And uh, Jess was saying that she was, you were moving in, and I've met you, be, I've met her before. So I'm like, okay, whatever. But I'm like, I don't know, I kind of felt like I was about to be left out. I'm like, they about to be having so much fun. And I'm feel like, <laughs> Jess ain't gonna want to hang out with me no more. And I was just like, so I wouldn't say I didn't like you. I was just like, well, who the fuck is this bitch? I gotta fill her out. So it took a minute, but I feel like it, it's so crazy because we actually got closer. Yeah, than I would have ever thought, for sure. Mm-hmm. Because, I don't know, I don't know how it started. Like, did you just come over here or I just started coming over there? You would think we would know. It wasn't that long ago. You was coming there at first. Yeah. I don't know. I felt like you just, like, stayed up with me more, and then you just wanted to come over to my house more, and I'm just like, oh, I got a friend. No. <laughs> to come over this down the street clutch. Y'all, yeah. that Tito's get, she was bribing me with Tito's. Did come I? over. <laughs> <laughs> come over, I got some booze. Yeah, I think that's the only reason she hung out with me. I was, like, trying to lure her in. Like, come over, I got liquor. I got drugs, and I'm just playing. But, yeah, and then we ended up being really close. It was crazy. But, see, my friendships with everybody is different. Like, with with you, I just, we just like to. Whatever. We like to build shit. Like, this bitch, she literally, and we talked about this earlier. I don't know. We just like to do projects. I think it's fun, and we like to drink and stuff. And, and the key thing about the reason that I like our friendship is we never have drama. Like, ever. Mm -mm. But I'm pretty sure I got on her fucking nerves. She got on my nerves, I think, one time. She pissed me off. But. Yeah, well, there ain't no fucking but drama. But it's no drama. drama. Like, when we get together, it's just like. What are we doing today? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do? <laughs> Bro, I'd be like, so, you gonna come over? But, yeah, it's just no drama. And that's refreshing in a friendship to not have drama. And you're not like. That's called age. Age. Mm -mm. Maturity. People don't. You'd be fucking surprised. Motherfuckers is crazy. I don't know. We just. I, I like the different friendships that I have with my friends. Like, I have a certain friend for this. I have a certain friend for that. I don't know. It's just. Like, different days of the week. Yeah. No, I wish I had friends for different days of the week. Like, like boys. I used to have that. Back in my player days. You yeah. had. Back in your whole whole days, <laughs> mm -hmm. bro. We all had whole days. I had whole times too. 
like in my night, I think it was like 18 through like 24 was like, no, 18 through 23 was like my whole days. And then I like, <clears throat> after a while, I kind of settled down because when I first got my place and stuff, I was like, I wasn't trying to have no boyfriend. I was just like, I'm trying to talk to everybody. Everybody. Fucking everybody. No, I'm just playing. No. Well, <laughs> no, uh, 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 uh. nah, but after, Not at the same time. Not at the same time. You feel me? Mm-mm. But nah, I just, uh, after a while I got lonely and I'm like, okay, like, bitch, I'm getting old. Like, I do want to settle down. Now that I'm 25 and a half, I'm just like, <laughs> I really want to settle down. <laughs> you know? Like, it's just like, damn. Like, a bitch getting old. You feel me? Lex is... She's she's older and wiser than me. So she, yeah. <laughs> You're damn right I am. <laughs> Ment- mentally. Wiser is a very fucking sure fact. <laughs> no, but I did. I wish she was around those days. Those, those days were fun. Y'all sound like a bunch of trouble back then. No, we wasn't. We was just drunk every fucking day. We just drunk every fucking day. We just had fun. We never locked our doors. People would just come in and be like, hey, what's up? I brought drinks. And we would be like, hey, put it in the cup. Like, <laughs> pour me one too. Pour, pour up. Like, <laughs> that's all it was. We was just like, and then we would drink all day, go to sleep for like a couple hours and wake up and be going to work, ready to go to work, drink at work, and then go home and drink. Those was the good old days. So you probably would have meshed well. <laughs> in that in, in that era, yeah. You don't think so? Yeah, no. I'm not, I'm not disagreeing. Yeah, cause we was hanging out with like Emily and them. Like they were like young as fuck, but we still made sure we took care of them. Taylor, Emily, we made sure we took care of them. Them motherfuckers. I think were probably like seventeen. We could have been put to jail. Why, well, mercy? I think they was in high school and shit. I know. I shouldn't admit that. We gonna we gonna uh, beep that part out. <laughs> but yeah, so any um any love interests in your life these days? <sighs> Who the fuck is Brad? What? That's a TikTok reference. Who the fuck is Brad? I never heard that one, and I'm a TikTok sensation. Anywho, no girl, ain't nobody got fucking time for that. Anybody got time for that? Ain't nobody got around with that. Aside from that, nobody's worthy, I don't think. I feel like, I feel like from when I first met you, and then now, I feel like, um, and I told you this earlier, but I'm gonna say this on the mic, I feel like, on the mic, <laughs> I'm gonna say this on the air, for, for our one viewer, but, um, I feel like you really, like, glowed up, is that the right word? Yeah, Cause she I mean, was, yeah. you was boy crazy, right? That was like when the whole stage like first set in. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say whole phase, but like everybody had their whole phase. No, I've been wiped up for the past decade, and I just like finally grew my wings and started to fly. No, nah, I feel like you doing really good. Like your your whole like aura is just like change. You just like mm-hmm. you don't give a fuck. The shit that used to hurt your feelings a couple months ago, you don't give a fuck about now. But, honestly, like, I learned from you a lot with that, too, though. Like, your perspective on things. Like, Lex, you just gotta not fucking care about everything so much. Like, you let shit get to you so much, and you care about yeah. people's feelings so much more than, like, your own, you'd say to me. Yeah. And, like, clearly as I'm reciting that, like, that really, like, hit home. Like, it, it's sunk, you know? No, y'all, y'all don't understand. This girl is, like, she... It's so selfless. Is that the word? Selfless. Yeah. She's so selfless to the point it makes me mad because you have to, and I tell I tell her that all the time, you have to sometimes be selfish. You have to do things to make you happy sometimes. And you, she, she does things for other people all the time. And that's good. Like, that's why I like her. Like, that's it, like, makes me feel good in a way, like, to, like, help people. But, like, in a sense, like... So, I'm not doing shit for myself in the long run. Like, what the hell? Like, yeah, no, you're no, definitely no. not mm-hmm. doing nothing for yourself. Like, why? It's okay to help people. Like, that's <clears> fine. But you got to take shit. You got to take time for yourself. And I'm happy that you took that. 
that makes me feel good that you said that that you took my advice on on that because you really got to be selfish sometimes like people just not worth your energy if you put so much energy into other people yeah it's just would draining be drain. yep drain it's just fucking draining bro like again ain't nobody got time for that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. period not one fucking bit no nah, i had to i had to um do that myself like stop worrying about other people man like it's just when you got people like i had an ex that just drained the fuck out of me and i was just like damn i can sit here and be like depressed and sad or i can just get my shit together and put my energy into something that i really enjoy that's why I started working on my place and like getting shit together just and and being around and being around people that actually love me and that care for me you know like people that would never want to see me like that or put so much to you know put so much into draining me like mm -mm. no you can't do that not at all so I'm, so I'm glad, but y'all, she's moving, actually. And I'm sad about that. Like, I'm so sad because I feel like, why are we getting sentimental? <laughs> we gotta talk about something good after this, but, but I don't want you to leave. Like, this, this bitch, literally, like, I will call her and be like, hey, can you come over? Okay. I'm like, what? Uh, oh, okay. We don't even be doing shit. We just be sitting. <laughs> we'll do, like, TikToks. And I got her into TikTok, too. I I had to beg her. I'm like, you got to get on TikTok. You would love love this. And now she's a TikTok sensation. <laughs> Me and the cats. Where no, no no, I was about to say that. Yo, cats <laughs> is the TikTok. Bro, she posted a video <clears throat> of her cats and they got like thousands of views. And I was just like, cause y'all know I don't like animals. And I was just like, hey, can I borrow one of them motherfuckers? Like, <laughs> trying to pimp my cats out. Right. Uh-uh. No, I was just no. trying to manage them. You know. <laughs> I was trying to pimp them. I was trying to manage their motherfucking asses, but they bad as hell. No, the one is really um, unproblematic. I you always say leave that. my bad ass kids out of this. No, I like the unproblematic <laughs> one. The bigger, the bigger cat she has remind me of myself. I shouldn't say big. I should say thick. That's rude. Mm-hmm. You wonder why she don't like you? Hmm? <laughs> it's not that she don't like me. She just don't. She don't fuck with nobody. I feel like she just be chilling. Mm-hmm. Just be chilling. Did you get over on that question about love interest? So you don't have a love, a love interest right now? Um, no. That's good. I'm so focused on like bettering myself and like rebuilding whom I thought I lost over the past year. Like, I just want to be who I know that I am again. And <clears throat> unfortunately, I feel like I have to move away to find myself again. But if that's what it's going to take to rebuild the badass bitch that I know that I am, then that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, yeah, bitch. That's what I'm going to do. Like, why not? Yeah. I have nothing to lose. I really don't. How like, far How far is it that you're moving away? It's six and a half hours from the suburbs of Detroit to where we are right now. Damn. I think it's like 237 miles. No, I, I, I swear I'm going to come and visit. Damn, my phone going off. I wonder who that is because I'm lame as hell. Well, considering I'm the one that talks to you the most and I'm right here, I would love to fucking know. We really don't. We really don't even talk like that if you think about it. We just be like, hey, you coming over? Yes or no? No. Okay. Or yes. All right. And then that'd be it. Like, it ain't like we talk on the phone every day. No, <laughs> Actually, no. we just, we just like, commute, commute through Facebook. We just, like, tag each other through shit, and that's how we commute. And Stay in we, touch. If we, um, <coughs> yeah, if we get tired. I mean, if we get, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying no more, y'all. I'm getting a little drunk. I'm oh, just kidding. Okay. You don't have to get my phone. I'm not worried about it too much. I my phone was, um. <clears throat> a long way down. It's a long way down. <laughs> Let me to hold your hand? Get down. <laughs> you let me go. <laughs> oh, bitch, I thought she was going to bend over and do it. <laughs> Don't let me go. I, was, I, was I thought she was going to go. I, I, do that, I do that with my friend. I be like. <laughs> Lord. Can we, like, cut? Can we go to commercial?
commercial break. Why? What's going on? I don't know. I have to pee, kind of. All right. We're going to pause, y'all. Commercial break, because... And then we'll come back. Lex is the right... All right, you guys. So, we are coming back from the break. We had to take a pee break, because you guys know... Well, you should know that we're alcohol fucking holics. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches got to pee, yo. Bitches got to pee, so we had to... Uh... One too many pickle bags? Yeah. Oh, we yeah, we had to get picklebacks and everything. Let me get my pickle bag. I'm tripping. But, yeah, we had to get the pickle bag and... Um, restart fresh not restart fresh but hmm. take five mm-hmm. but as i recall we left off on my love life oh let's fuck. pry the fuck into yours <laughs> <laughs> y'all okay so i'm very very private with my shit of course she knows and actually you know what you really don't know because like we not putting on a front but she always asked me about mm-hmm. stuff and i'm like I give her these half-ass answers, and she's like... She's so fucking reserved. No, I'm just private. Like, even with my friends, I'm, like, private with, like, anybody that I'm talking to. But I am currently talking to someone. And we we just enjoy each other's company. That's what I always tell her, and she gets so mad. She's like, what do you mean enjoying people's... What do you mean enjoying each other's company? Like, that's literally what it is. We're literally enjoying each other's company. That's all I can say. Hmm. (laughs) <laughs> I don't know what else you want to want me to say. The fucking cheese ass grin. I know. I get. I get so giggly. I'm like. Otherwise, I'm like. Uh, we. You be cheesing ear to ear. I know. I do not believe that is just a a company. I never enjoyment. said it was just a company. I said no. But we enjoy each other's. That's company. what I'm saying. I believe that it's more than just that. Did like, I just like axie more of myself? No, I didn't complete my sentence all the way. That's the Jameson talking. <laughs> there it is. But, no, um, no, no, I the smile on your fucking face when you say that says a lot. More don't say that. I'm just, a hard ass bitch out here in these streets. Don't be doing me like that. <laughs> we out here in the fucking suburbs, y'all. <laughs> we ain't in no damn suburbs. <laughs> we in a trap house right now. This, is, yo, this is a fucking straight up trap house, bro. Before I fix this bitch up, you could say this was. A trap house. Was it not? It was. Say it. Was it not a trap house? No. Uh, yes, it was. I've never seen a trap house. My house is a trap house. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I used to tell you. <laughs> if I see one. Bro, I used to tell you all the time, like, when she used to come in, like, I'm so trifling. Like, if anybody knows me, like, I hate cleaning. Like, cleaning is, like, the worst thing to me. And I used to be like, um, so, yeah, I have a trap house, so don't, don't judge me. <laughs> But, okay, we getting off topic. Judgment free zone. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I don't even remember where we was at. But, yeah, so, um. But she's not elaborating on her love life for whatever reasons. I'm not quite sure. We're enjoying each other's company. No, I, this guy, like, I like him. I like him. Is he a keeper? For now. No, I don't, okay, I don't mean it like that for now. I mean, for now, like, he's, he's doing good now. Okay. You know, you know how, like, when you talk to somebody, and you're like, um, and they might change on you later? Right. So, I'm saying, for now, he's, he's a really good guy. He's on a good track. It, she's, she's met him. She, yo, like, every, bro, (laughs) I had an ex that I brought to Lex because she's my mother, and she instantly was like, I don't like him. And I'm like, no, I thought she was being so rude. I'm like, no, 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 you got to give him a chance. And she just like didn't like him from start. And I mean, my friend's opinions, they stick with me. But the fact that she didn't like him and then he turned out to be just the motherfucking bitch asshole that I thought he was going to oh, be. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Yeah, so, so her opinion matters to me. So when she met this guy that I'm talking to now, she was like, instantly, I like him. He's a good egg. egg. Yeah, she calls him a good egg. Like he's I'm a like, good bro. egg. He's a good boy. Yeah. He's a good noodle. He's a good egg. He's a good noodle. Yeah, he's he's really nice. I like him. I like him a lot. So we're just um, 
That's probably the most I ever told Keeping you. Keeping it real, though. Uh, that's the most Keeping I... Keeping it real. Bro. Yeah. And, and I'm not... it's on the fucking record... It's on recording now, so... Yeah. What if it wasn't recording? It would be like, no. They but, get to hear it, too, and as well as Yeah, I. this is the first time I actually told her that. I really like him, and I enjoy... I enjoy his company. And we're... And for now, we're good. We just, like... Like... I'm sure he's probably gonna... He's gonna listen to this, for sure. Yeah, so, <laughs> he definitely is. He's gonna be like, I'm fucking blushing. Bro. He's gonna be like, Lex, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, but if if Lex, that meant a lot to me that she felt like that meant a lot to me that she liked him. So that means because uh, that means I, a lot. <laughs> I literally know everything, and she claims she knows everything. Yeah, I actually Child. know everything. But what I don't know. What? Is why the fuck you convinced me to start doing this to begin with? Doing what? This podcast? What was your drive behind starting a podcast to begin with? Okay. Um, you know what? I, um, okay, so the guy that I'm talking to, he was actually like, he would hang out with me and Lex and Jess and he would be like, y'all are funny. Like, you guys are hilarious. Y'all should probably start something like, you know, start a podcast. Because he knows I do YouTube and stuff. And I was like, actually, that's a good idea because we always get from people that we're entertaining. And Dude, we're, we're fucking funny. hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> we, bro. We that are, is, though. That is so, uh, what's that word? That is so fucking. We're conceited. I'm that's so self. conceited. No, but we always get that from people. So he was just like, you should. And he inspired me to do the podcast. And when I did it, I was like, oh, I'm going to just do it by myself. But I'm like, that's going to be boring. Like, I know I'm entertaining. It's like, you know, I'm just just saying oh and I'm but i was just like one. no you was the first person i thought of i'm like bro this whole podcast is me sucking your dick the whole time like <laughs> i feel like sucking your dick no 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 no, no, no. but real shit no I, th- I thought of her because we come from different backgrounds and i thought like we come from different backgrounds and we we don't have the same views but when we when we like met help me we, out we, bitch. Like, we come to the same understanding about things though yeah like, like, I grew up so much more different than you did. Like, completely exactly. opposite backgrounds. Completely opposite. And to see, like, how I was raised to where I am now, to see you, like, yeah, it's just incredible to, like, <clears throat> see opposite sides of the spectrum. Like, yeah, and the way she was born, born, the way she was brought up, she's told me about, and, you know, it wasn't the best explaining but i she she's a very understanding person like she she gets it she'll never be like you know i'm not judgmental no yeah means, no yeah for sure so i thought i thought that would be like great that we can put our different backgrounds together and make like a, a dope ass podcast and like we already talk about good shit like when it's just me and you so why not record it you know like this is literally the shit that we would be talking about if it if if this wasn't being recorded the mic wasn't on right. like we literally just talk about this shit it might be a little bit more graphic but I'm trying to get <clears throat> her there cause y'all know I, I'll air it out I don't give a fuck but we go get into some get into some things but I think for right now I think this is like we should have been did this like, this is just so easy, and it's comfortable, and it's just, like, we don't have to do our makeup. We can look, we look like fucking shit right now. If I can do anything that doesn't have a damn fucking bright-ass light on my face and a camera. Bro, she keeps talking about this And take light. 17 to redo it again. I'm straight. <laughs> Let's run it. I know. We could just be, like, my wig is cricket right now. I look, I, I fucking, I'm musty, you know. No, I'm just fine. I took a shower, actually, before you came. I did shower too today. Yeah, before you came, I took a shower, because, you know, like, a bitch be musty sometimes. I did put no lashes on, though. I did straighten my hair. Yeah. I will. You know, yeah. We out here. I'm so, we, we good. We good. <laughs> we can only see each other. That's good. Maybe later down the line, maybe we'll do a, a podcast where we re-record at the same time as we... <laughs> ah, we'll never... <laughs> y'all, we be looking a mess. What what time is it? It's 424, y'all. Oh, I mean, I shouldn't have said that. I just hiccup. That's like the <laughs> drunk hiccup. But yeah, so what is, what was the question that I wanted to ask you? I wanted to ask you what is the most embarrassing thing you ever did, like ever? 
<laughs> like in front of a guy. Like, what's the most embarrassing thing you ever did? Like a guy that I liked, or just like a my boy. Just period. I don't know. Just period. Period. Um. I remember. Alright, you know them, uh, this is, I actually don't think I've ever told anybody this. This is fun. Uh, them chocolate milk cartons, right? The little cartons back in elementary school, the itty bitty ones? Yeah. Right? Okay. So, I remember being at lunch before, laughing, and like, you know me, I laughed through my nose, like, <laughs> okay. You did not squirt milk through your nose. No, I blew a bubble. Through your nose? <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. Neither did fucking I. And, yeah, I was in elementary school. And, clearly, I never forgot because I was embarrassed as all hell. That was, like, the most embarrassing you've ever been? I mean, it's one of the fucking... It's it's up there. Oh, my God. That's, that's like... That's, like, nothing... I hope to God that's nobody nothing, listens to that. That's nothing compared to my embarrassing story. I think I told you this. My most embarrassing story, and this is how I knew Jessica was, like, a real bitch... I got drunk as fuck one day. Like, we went out to the bar and we was, like, drinking constantly. And we went home. <laughs> you know. Y'all know I ain't got no shame, so I don't give a fuck. Went home and I had to throw up. And, oh, my God. This is a different story. Like, okay. I, anyway, this is a different story. But I had to throw up. And while, like, I'm sitting down, like, y'all, y'all, I don't ever wear clothes. Like, if I'm at home, like, I, I'm just butt-ass naked. So I'm like butt ass naked, leaned over in the fucking toilet, and as I'm throwing up, I'm like shitting at the same time. Double ugly. <laughs> and my boyfriend at the time, I think he was there. I think that was the time he was there, and it was just like Jessica had. She's saying time out. I don't care. No, keep going, keep going. No, I don't. Care. No, I don't care. She she gave me the time out sign. Like don't stop, stop, stop. No, okay. What? Why was you doing that? Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I, so I was throwing up, and then I was shitting at the same time. It was like straight diarrhea. <laughs> you had a man there too. I think so. Yeah, I think my ex was there. He might have been there. I gotta ask Jess because I think she was sober for once. No, she probably was like buzzing. But yeah, I was like throwing up and shitting at the same time, and it was just like that was my most embarrassing. Yeah, it was. She just <laughs> she just literally sent me a text of the uh, of the ex's name. Yeah, that that was. Him. <laughs> I wonder if he'll listen to this and remember. Like, ew, that's probably why ew, he fucking broke up my ass. But no, nah, it's fine. But yeah, so that was like my most embarrassing situation. And am I embarrassed about it now? No, that's pretty fucking bad. Yeah, it is bad. I'm not embarrassed about it no more though. I was for a long time, but. It's just like my whole life is embarrassing, so it's just like, what worse could it get? You know, just shitting and fucking throwing up at the same time. That was my embarrassing story. I got a couple of them. Like, my life is truly embarrassing. Let me tell you. Mm-hmm. So, that's why I said my, yours is like fucking daisies and roses compared to my shit. Well, I didn't think you were going to trump. Literally tr- shit, bro. I didn't think you were going to trump it with like some, yeah. Oh, no. Nah. You, you know, I get real. I get real as hell. Oh, goodness. Hell yeah. My, my embarrassing stories are so much more regretful than that, I think. I think the most <laughs> embarrassing... <laughs> tell tell the fart story. Which one? Which one? What you you farted about? more? No, we're talking about... When you first farted... Y'all, we... If guys are listening, like, we we hate to fart around Oh, guys. goodness. No, it doesn't happen. Yeah, so tell your fart story. That was funny. Oh, God. Okay, so, they're going to think I'm some man-ass bitch. I just said I fucking threw up a shit at the same time. You don't think I just embarrassed myself, <laughs> bitch? You better tell that motherfucking story. Okay, so, I dated this boy for probably about four years. And never once did I fart or poop in front of him. That's just not a thing. I'm more lady like than that. You're a classy bitch. Right. So, <laughs> it happened. I thought it was going to be a silent, but it was not. And said a person heard. I would never even risk my soul to think it's silent. Oh my goodness. Yep, but it was it was loud. And I said, one of two things is going to happen here. You're either going to forget this ever happened... Or I'm going to kill you. I gotta fucking kill you. Well, he didn't forget. 
and I didn't kill him. And, I mean, it's been a while since I've talked to this human, but I bet you his bitch ass ain't forgot. This dog. Because I still This animal. And, Um. man, I turned a whole different shade of purple, though, when that happened. Holy moly. I was so embarrassed. Bro, I I feel like I'm I'm embarrassed to fart and stuff. Like I don't I wouldn't even fart in front of you. Like I don't I just think that that's just like that's not ladylike. No, so if I had to fart, I mean unless I couldn't help it. We I'm talk like, about shit all the time, but I'm not gonna fart in front of you. Yeah, I don't think I fart <laughs> in front of you either. Like that's just I don't like that shit. That shit ain't cute. But no. <laughs> I'll go to the bathroom that, and do that. That shit ain't cute. That shit literally the pun. <laughs> That shit ain't cute, and that will be that should be the name of this first episode. This shit ain't cute. That shit ain't cute. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> that shit ain't cute. Ew. Dog, like make the whole podcast around me shitting on myself. But yeah, so double uglies. <laughs> no name, no name podcast. Welcome to no name podcast. We don't have a name. I don't have a name. So whatever, it is what it is. But <laughs> so, what is the most gross thing that boys ever caught you do, though? Me? If you're referring to like my guy, my guy situation, like that's the most disgusting thing that a dude has ever caught me do. Equaling in with my most embarrassing moment, I think. I think that just topped it. Like somebody seeing me throw up and shit at the same time. Like that. That tops all. <laughs> that's like inhumane. That is. I'm an animal for that. A stray animal. Like, it took me a long time to get over it. Do I care now? No, I don't give a fuck. But it's just like, bro, that's... Who does that? Only me. That's my life. You know? Classy. I'm a classy-ass bitch. Hey, shit happens. Bro, the puns. Shit happens. (laughs) Literally. And Jessica, Jessica actually picked it up, too. I didn't tell you that part. She literally picked picked it up. It's like diarrhea. She picked it up. That's a down ass bitch. She a down ass bitch because I never do that. That's a down ass. I bitch. know because I could never. Mm-hmm. I could. I wouldn't even pick my own shit up. Hey, I picked her ramen little puke up though off the wall. Did you? Yeah. When was that? Uh, a couple months ago. She tried to take a shot, didn't go down right, and she yeah projectile vomited across their hallway, <clears throat> and it was ramen noodles stuck to the fucking hallway on the walls and i i knew she didn't mean to do it like and i felt bad because i think i offered her the shot i want to say and we gotta get jessica on this podcast so she could clear her name totally oh she gotta clear her name hey but anyway (laughs) i'm just joking (laughs) i ain't picking up your shit don't do that with me man see i was young bro i think i was like I had to been like 23. You were still in diapers? I should have been in diapers, <laughs> motherfucker. I was like 23. Yeah, I changed so much. Like, I'm like classy trashy. Trashy classy. I think so. I think I handle stuff a, a little bit more class. I'm still trifling as fuck, but a little bit more class. You know. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro we talk we talk like this in front of guys too and that's why guys think we hilarious because they're like we never met i never met a female like y'all like how we talk and we just so open we don't care like at all so it is what it is mm-hmm. what is a filter that's what i'm saying the only filter i use is on my fucking pictures bro i will take what is a filter for 400 <clears throat> hell yeah but so that's my most embarrassing. I'm play Jeopardy. What kind, what kind of guys do you like? <laughs> since we, since y'all getting to know us, we'll we'll tell you. Like, do you have a type? Cause I have a type. I feel like. Are we talking physically or like mentally? I mean, it could be either or. Um, I'm not gonna go with physical attributes at this moment. Let's do mentally. Um, I like boys <clears throat> that men aren't pieces of shit well, that well, bitch you better de- you better get, be gay then no I'm just fine y'all 
Now, um, somebody that got their own, you know, like, I am so, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm, I'm so confident in myself, like, that if someone can't meet or match my level of confidence, then there's no reason to have you in my life. Period. If you're not bringing to the <clears throat> table what I can bring to the table, there's no reason to have you in my life. Bro, I'm so happy that you said that. If, like, there's just... If you're not me or above me, then there's no reason to have you in my life. And just point blank, that's it. I feel like I gotta have somebody equal me out because I'm, like, so wild and, like, spontaneous and I'm, like... Did I say loud? Yeah. Loud, <laughs> spontaneous, you know. And I just, like, have no filter and I'm embarrassing as fuck. So I feel like I, I have to have a guy that's just, like, very calm and, like settle and, and that's how that's how I feel I always like guys that was just like quiet and just like see I feel the, the opposite. opposite of me I feel like I the opposite of me I like a little bit of balance like I that's what I feel like it is balance though but I like something that's like more like me than not you cannot have nobody like you this bitch is controlling she she's the man of the relationship no I've been controlled and I've liked it <gasps> oh spicy mm. And no, but like, I like someone that's equally as controlling as I am. Like, I don't want to, I don't want the opposite of me. I love the opposite of me. Like, I can't have a guy that's the opposite don't work because I'm so controlling, like, and I'm so like high strung. The opposite of me is like just dull, and I don't want that. I don't like that. I'm not saying like dull, but I just like somebody that's just opposite of me. As, like, qui- I just like quiet. Like, somebody who can balance me out, you know? Oh. Who can be quiet. Because I'm loud as fuck and I'm um, extra at times. So I gotta have a partner that just balance that out and just, you know, be like, hi. They like to have fun, though. Who knows, child? I don't know what I what I want or need. It's just, it's, it's either here or there these days. And this is why I am completely single. And you got somebody in your life. Because I am so stuck on, like, what I want. And I'm so, like, I just want this and I need this. And my stipulations are so strong. Like, I'm going to <clears throat> adopt five more cats in the next couple of years. Mm-mm. And. Uh, yeah, I'm, like, highly allergic to her cats. Highly allergic. Just me and my bite boys. I can't get, I can't get animals. I just can't. Like, I'm just, like, not an animal person at all. So, me getting anything, like a fucking dog, cat, like, I just can't do. I can't. But, no, this bitch, like, literally, and I was talking, um, with my boo (laughs) about this. I was like, Alexa would be, like, a great mom. Like, she's, like, um, this bitch is, like, destined to be a mom a mommy person so if i ever have kids i'll just like pawn them on her is that the right word pawn i just be like hey can you babysit for the for the week for the month till (laughs) summer's over till summer's over they go over auntie uh lex house for the summer that could be free no i'm just playing maybe free how many kids do you want do you want any kids well duh you want kids but how many kids do you want um Either one or three. How do you jump from one to three? Because I don't want to. What? That's even. I like even numbers. No. One I think, three. you know what, like, my mind changed so much <clears throat> from, um, when I was younger. When I was younger, I was like, I don't want any kids. I don't want to be married. I just want to live that whole life. You feel me? No, but, no, that's true, but. I'm like, now that I'm getting older, I'm like, okay, like, I'll, I want to be married one day, and I would like to have a child. Can you imagine me with a kid? Lord have mercy. I would like to have a child one day, but if I do have two kids, like, two is my limit. If I was to have two, it would have to be back to back, because me and my sister, we're like seven year, six or seven years apart, and we didn't have nothing in common until, like, she got older, but I feel like I would rather, like, have kids that are back to back. I don't know. So they could just be like besties, you know? I want like a year or two space in between if I get to have more than one or two. No, I was just 
like to have them back to back. Get it over with. But yeah. I'm also like not opposed to adopting a child at this stage of my life. Like I'm child. 27 and I'm getting old. We should. Oh, you're so old. <laughs> we should just rub our eggs together and make a baby. And I just want. I don't know. I want more than one. That's for sure. <clears throat> I could see you being like the. Because I was of- an only child and like I fucking hated it. Like I had cats and like I neighborhood friends, but. I can see you being the type of mom that's just like all up in your kids' business. It's like, what you doing? Open the door. That's me though. I'll be opening the door like, what the fuck y'all doing up in here? That's I feel like that's you in their business. No, yeah. When they're teenagers, maybe, but like. I'm being a motherfucker's business. How like install cameras or something? You would install cameras. You be that mom. Nah, you know what? To an extent, like nah, I mean, until to an age, maybe like I see you doing that, like baby monitors. <laughs> baby monitors. It's a thing. That's horrible, like fucking teenagers. No, I'm that's I'm saying to a certain age, like mm, you don't do that after a certain age. It's weird. Well, yeah, younger, but I guess whatever. Or I'm gonna have a cat farm, <laughs> and I'm gonna have eighteen hundred cats and. Your house gonna stink. It's a farm. It's outside. Oh. It's different. So you have cats outside? Yeah, they're free reign. Like, they're feral. Child. They still gonna love me. (laughs) (laughs) You gonna be irritating them cats, too. Like, bitch. They gonna be like, God damn. Yeah, and when they become Tic Tac famous as well, I don't wanna hear your fucking mouth. Did you say Tic Tac? I said Tic Tac famous as well. Tic Tac famous. Yo, like... We gonna make a TikTok tonight. No, probably not. I'm already, listen, I'm already getting her to do too much. She's like, this is very rare. And I'm happy she's getting comfortable with this because now we can like, we can. (laughs) See, now. Now we can be like, all right, let's do, we gotta figure out a day. We'll talk about that after. But we gotta figure out a day where we can just be like, yo, we're gonna, we're gonna do this shit. I feel like we got we got enough good footage. Like the first one was like thirty minutes, and I was trying to keep this under an hour. You think we should wrap it up? I think so too. Yeah. So okay, you guys. If you stayed this long, just know that we're <laughs> fucking drunk now. Thank you for bearing <laughs> with us and our drunken nonsense. Hell yeah! And we hope to we hope to maybe find a name for this and give you guys good content and have like maybe a day like every Wednesday or every Thursday that we post so you guys can follow up with our stories and we can tell you more stories and we can be actually more prepared next time because we were not prepared we just literally plugged the mic in and we're like let's just fucking talk so we're gonna give you better footage next time footage why do I keep saying footage we're gonna give you better content next time so so maybe next week Possibly on a Wednesday or Thursday. And we'll be back to annoy the fuck out of you. Exactly. And you guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And it, hopefully you guys stayed till the end. So we're going to wrap this up. And we're going to keep drinking. We're just going to keep drinking and doing drugs. And we're, I'm just kidding. We have drugs? <laughs> we're going to act like we, we just bland. No, I'm just playing. Oh. But, um, so yeah. So thank you guys for sticking, sticking this far with us. And it is Aviva Lakai and... Later, y'all. You were supposed to say, I was going to say, this is Viva Lakai, and you were supposed to say, this is Lex. This is Viva Lakai, y'all. Hey, and I'm Lex. And this is um, Kai. See, this is why we're not fucking prepared. <laughs> and this is. Bye. This is, this is Kai and friend. Kai and company. Oh, Kai and company. No, we're not going to do that because that's <laughs> fucked up. But no, we go. Okay, bye, y'all. Love y'all. Thank you. Come back next time. Bye.